Today we're taking a look at Terra's Lunar Coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Lunar go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into the Lunar Chart guys. If you're looking to buy Lunar or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. But as we know, since we last took a look at Lunar, it has been a market crash across crypto. And of course, Luna has not been unaffected by this overall crash. Whilst in the outset, they were doing pretty well compared to the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Unfortunately, they could not withstand the wrath of the entire market absolutely dropping. So of course, we have now dropped down to a value of $51 and 56 cents at this point in time, I believe. And we hit a low on the 31st of January and that low was $43.49. So it looks like we have been saved right now by our 200 day moving average, which is acting as a key point of support for us. But last time I predicted, you know, we were gonna break out of here. Unfortunately, timing was very poor and that did not occur. So let's get rid of this information, which is now basically a bit more useless to us. I'm just gonna remove things just to unclutter what we're currently seeing. I'm gonna extend out this key point, which was a point of support now acting as resistance. And that is sitting at 40, oh, $54, sorry. So I'm gonna extend that one out. And in fact, I'm gonna zoom out and have a quick look at it. I'm gonna bring that down slightly because I believe it's actually sitting, yeah, $54.40, that's looking a bit better. You can see we had a little bounce off it here previously. We've hit it a few times here on occasions, had a bounce there. That is a key point for us to get back above and will be a hard point of resistance for us to get back above purely because of the price action. You can see even if I continue to extend this value out, it has been a very important point in the past for us. Let's put in our point of horizontal support now as well. We're gonna have to line this one up and I'm thinking probably about where this bounce was here at $43. So I'm gonna chuck that one in there, similar sort of situation, major point for us, plenty of price action in the past across that level. So this nice little bounce we saw off it and back above the 200 day moving average is pretty strong at this point in time. Now, unfortunately, the pattern that we do see prevailing at the moment is a flag pattern that is reversed, an inverse flag. So as you can see, the flag is forming in this sort of a manner back up towards this point with the flag. Typically what this means is we're gonna see, you know, the price has gone down here. It's gonna consolidate up this way, but then it's unfortunately going to break downwards. The only way I don't see that happening is for whatever reason, if we have a big spoke in, you know, buying volume for whatever reason, we might manage to break upwards instead, but I'm not confident of that purely due to the fact that the market has crashed at this point in time and hasn't recovered. Looking at another indicator, RSI. You can see we hit a low on the 30th of January of 30.54, just above the oversold mark. We've crept up slightly as has our price and we've crept up to 39.02. So not too much distance gained, but of course there hasn't been too much volume that has been going through at the moment, so I'm not surprised on that front at all. RSI gives us plenty of room to move upwards, but also is allowing us to continue in a downwards direction as well. MACD, let's have a quick look at this one now. As you can see, it does look like the red period may actually be ending for Luna. Look out for this 12-day EMA crossing above the 26-day EMA. We don't wanna see anything like this, where it was a pretty pathetic cross, and unfortunately, we dumped straight downwards. As you can see here, the fail, everyone got a bit nervous and it bailed. But hopefully this time we saw something a bit more significant occurring. So you can see here we had a decent cross, and then bang, the price obviously goes up with it. So keep an eye on this one because it could be an indicator for us to have a bit of a reversal. And if it does occur, when we get to this tip over here, and the buying volume does come in, we'll break out and we'll break out in a big way. And we'll break out likely above the $62 mark above our 20 day moving average. But if it's a shallow cross, then we will definitely break in a downwards direction because basically, well, the MACD is reflecting 
the trend of the direction we're going. So all in all, things are looking, I suppose, a bit unsteady for Luna at this point in time. My price target on that basis is simply maintain from a support perspective the $43 mark if possible. Even better, stay above our 200 day moving average at $46. But the ideal case scenario would be a breakout above 54 to go and test that 20 day moving average. Although I'm leaning more towards the fact that we're probably going to either trend downwards for a little bit or sideways as opposed to actually breaking in an upwards direction. That wraps up today's analysis on Luna, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to keep up to date with the latest content. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.